Welcome back to Crypto Info Blockchain Made Easy with your host, Frank the Crypto Tank. Guys, please tap that like and subscribe down below if you don't mind. Please don't forget to tap our Caleb link down below as well. Today, we're unboxing the Ledger Nano X. Let's go ahead and do this thing. We're going to show you step by step how to set this puppy up, all right? Okay, so here we have a Ledger Nano X in the box, okay? I've already unboxed this one, but make sure that when you purchase your Ledger Nano X that you're purchasing it only from ledger.com or you can use our affiliate link down below. It's safe, it takes you directly to their website. And you wanna make sure that it's not been tampered with as well. Like I said, I've opened this one, but you wanna make sure the plastic is sealed and you're not purchasing it on an Amazon or anything like that. You're only getting it from ledger.com or our trusted link down below. Now you're going to eventually, and I'll get to it in just a bit here, download Ledger Live in order to operate with this. And that's going to be on your laptop device. Okay. You want to make sure that you download Ledger Live only from ledger.com. Okay. So what we're going to do is open up the box, make sure that it's, like I said, not been tampered with in any way, shape or form. Break the seal, open it up. Now, this metal plate does not come with it. I highly recommend that along with jotting down your 24 word seed phrase on a card that does come with the ledger in the box that you also due to potential water damage and other potential issues with the paper that you engrave it on and I have it covered so you can't see my seed phrases. If you lose your seed phrase, of course, you lose access to your crypto. Now, if somebody else gets your seed phrase, they can steal your crypto. We've covered this in other episodes, so be very, very careful. This is crucial. This will protect against fire and water damage and things like this. I highly recommend you keep your wallet and your seed phrase in a fireproof and waterproof safe and also, you know, perhaps a safety deposit box at the bank. Some people don't like that. Multiple locales is probably a good idea. Guys, remember, this is not financial advice. All of these things have to be learned on your own. I am not responsible for your decisions concerning your wallet or what may happen to your crypto. This is simply for educational and informational purposes only and just a little bit of entertainment. I hope this is helping you understand the wallet thus far. Please tap that like and subscribe down below. Guys, let's continue. Here's what else is in the box. Hey right, guys, what comes in the box? You have a USB-C cable here. You also have the actual ledger device itself, which is a nice hard metal protected. When you flip ski or open, little switchblade, you have your lovely device. If I wanted to go connect it, I would do a Zyxo. Okay, so here is your paper recovery sheets, okay? I highly recommend you back that up with the metal engraved version. You can get it for 20 bucks on Amazon, a metal engraver in these, maybe 20, 25 bucks total. And go ahead and engrave it in here as my recommendation, okay? Do not lose your 24-word seed phrase, recovery phrase, whatever you do. Do not give this recovery phrase to anybody. A word to the wise concerning cryptocurrency, wallets, and proper storage. No exchange is ever, nor am I, nor is any other YouTube content creator, I on X or YouTube or any other platform ever going to contact you and ask you to send us your wallet address, your seed phrase, and your crypto, and then we'll go ahead and double it for you. Never fall for any of these things. Folks, these entities are not going to be calling you on the telephone, nor are they going to be contacting you out of the blue to verify anything uh, via email, like some scams come through for uphold. Be very careful, folks. Okay, the, all of that out of the way concerning safety with the wallet, folks. You then are going to create your four K 
character pin. Do not give this to anybody. You will always need this. Please remember this. This is going to be needed to open your wallet each time. Either it goes dark on the screen, which it does time out, which is a nice security feature. Also, if it's turned off, you want to turn it on. You have to know this four digit code. So do not forget and do not give anybody this four digit code because you will frequently need it to reopen your wallet. Okay, step two, you're gonna download Ledger Live from your desktop. Okay, now you're going to initialize the Ledger Nano X. You're going to actually turn on the device by pressing and holding the right button next to the USB port. So that's here until the ledger logo appears on the front. And once it does, you're ready to go. You're going to follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, so now you're gonna press both buttons together to secure your selection, okay? Anytime you wanna select anything, that is the way you do it. You actually press both buttons at the same time. Now on Ledger Live, step number three, you're going to choose setup as new device. Now, step number four, you're going to actually create that four digit pin. Guys, in this whole process, please do not forget your Faraday bag. Yes, we'll protect you from solar flares, from any other type of EMP that can fry something like a cold storage wallet. And it holds your cold storage wallets. Please do not forget the Faraday bag named after the scientist who created the technology. Please check her out. Okay, now it's crucial that you never take any photos or store your seed phrase digitally, nor your four digit pin. Never do that. Always have it manually written down somewhere, protected in a fireproof, waterproof safe is what I always recommend. Please do not take a photo of it with your phone or store it digitally. It can potentially be intercepted at some point. You don't want that. Guys, step four, you want to write down your recovery phrase. The device is now going to show you 24 words. This is your recovery phrase or seed phrase that you never give to anybody and you keep in a super safe place. If you lose this, you lose access to your actual cold storage wallet. If somebody gets this, they can steal all your crypto. Okay, so now the device is going to ask you to confirm the words randomly. Now, I've told you before, don't ever lose these seed phrase words. And if someone else gets them, that's it. So step five, guys, you want to connect the ledger to the ledger live. So that's connecting the ledger itself to the ledger live app on your laptop. And here's how we do it. So you go, and I'm not going to physically show you. I don't want to show you access to my personal things here. You're going to go into ledger live. You're going to click get started. You're going to step two, click select your device, ledger nano X. You're going to choose for step three, set up as new device and follow the on-screen steps to number one, pair your device using USB or Bluetooth. I like USB. I feel like it's safer rather than the Bluetooth. Number one, you're going to go into the manager tab. Number two, you're going to install apps for each crypto, for example, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, etc., that you'd like to go ahead and load up on Ledger Nano X. I've been asked many times in the comments section if XDC can be loaded onto Ledger Nano X and it can. Okay, number three, once installed, go to accounts, add account, and select a crypto to add. Number four, open the corresponding app. Okay, guys, step seven. This is so exciting. You've done it. You've gotten this far. Congratulations. You're now going to receive crypto into the actual cold storage wallet. Now, number one, in Ledger Live, you're gonna to go to Accounts and select the account. You're going to click Receive. Number two, choose the crypto asset you want to receive. Number three, open the app on the Ledger device itself, for example, XRP. Okay, number four, you're gonna verify that the address shown on your Ledger screen matches your Ledger Live. Number five, use that address to transfer funds into the cold storage wallet. Very simple. You're all set now, guys. You've done it. Guys, your Ledger Nano X is now a fully functioning cold storage wallet. Congratulations. Nice job. This means that your private keys are now stored offline, protected from internet hacks. Now, remember, 
Your cryptocurrency is not stored in the actual wallet itself, okay? It's on the blockchain. This device has your keys that allow the interface or the access to your actual crypto that is stored on the blockchain. So please understand this. That's how this works. Okay, pro tips. Only purchase the wallet once again from ledger.com or use our trusted link down below. It is safe. Only download Ledger Live from ledger.com. Only. Never share your 24-word seed phrase. Sometimes it's 12. Never share that or your pin with anyone ever. Guys, Ledger Live also has a buy, sell, or swap feature to transact safely. Please check that out as well. Another pro tip. And always store everything in a fireproof and waterproof safe Please don't trust anybody with your cryptocurrency seed phrases or your pin or your wallet. Keep everything super safe, guys. Never respond to any phishing attempts. Please keep everything ultra safe and you'll be fine in the world of cryptocurrency storage. Welcome to becoming your own bank. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode running through how to set up the Ledger Nano X cold storage wallet from start to finish. Please don't forget to tap that like and subscribe down below if you thought we provided value to you today. Please don't forget to tap our Caleb link down below as well. You're more than welcome to use our Caleb and Brown link in the description below as well as our cold storage wallet to ledger.com down below, our affiliated link. It is safe. Please don't forget we have coming up Monday at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time here in Colorado. Jim Bazzani from Caleb and Brown, that is going to be a live interview with him. We're going to be discussing the differences between Caleb and Brown, which is a crypto brokerage firm, versus an exchange such as Uphold or Coinbase or some of the others. They operate differently. We're going to discover the differences coming up here in this interview. Please join us live. Guys, thanks for joining us on this episode of Crypto Info, Blockchain Made Easy with your host, Frank the Crypto Tank. We love you. We'll catch you in the next one. See you guys. Could have been nice the way you said that. Okay, I got you. Don't let AI cut your brake lines next time. No, no, no.